Hi guys, good afternoon, and welcome back <clears throat> once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of the latest and greatest episode so far, my new personal favorite of Lincoln Rhyme, Hunt for the Bone Collector. A new episode dropped this past Thursday. I finally got a chance to catch up and watch it. Just finished it. Really, really enjoyed it, and I got a lot to say about it. Now, before I begin, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled episode review. If you're not caught up on Lincoln Rhyme Hunt for the Bone Collector by the last episode or the previous ones, you may not want to keep listening to or watching this one as I will be discussing spoilers, uh, shocking character details, and all that jazz. So, you have been warned. That being said, let's dive right in. This was by far my favorite episode because I loved uh, the series. I really liked the... I really liked the twist they put on the serial killer. Well, not really a twist, but I liked the motive that they gave him for why he was targeting and going after arguing couples. Because, you know, of a past, uh, like, a PTSD, like, he had an emotional trigger to, like, couples arguing. And, of course, he was some kind of tech wizard who could, uh, like, tap into their home security feeds and watch him fight. And then just when the moment is right, he strikes when... Uh, the husband steps out, kills the wife, and then, of course, the husband takes the fall for it. Brilliant. You know, they really turned the whole spousal murder thing on its head with this episode. And I just enjoyed them trying to figure out and investigate all the different leads, trying to figure out who was doing all these killings and why. Especially because Lincoln kind of had a personal attachment to it. You know, and it wasn't the bone collector as we might have thought. Because at first I thought the bone collector was behind it. But then they made it pretty clear that this was a pattern of murders that had been going on for a while. And it didn't really have the bone collector signature. But the bone collector was still part of this story. And I loved that you know I, I loved how at first they they t imply ooh, his wife just found his dark secret or hey she's uh, just stumbled onto something that she shouldn't have seen so now he's gonna have to kill her as well but at the very end when she tells him that she finds these photos and she tells him that she thinks a killer lived in their house before or after they did. And she doesn't put the two pieces together until she sees her friend and neighbor's picture amongst them. And then, like, she instantly freezes and puts the pieces together. And her hubby kind of takes her by the hand and starts leading her down the basement. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, indeed. Now, it's possible he may let her in on his little secret, or he most likely will end up making her one of his victims. We won't know until the next episode. But I do love how this episode uh, showed us that the Bone Collector is starting to lose his uh, grip, so to speak. Or not really lose his grip, but things are not going well for him for the first time in a very long time. And that's interesting for us and great for our main cast of characters. But unfortunately, they had their hands full with uh, the techno serial killer who was uh, targeting arguing couples. And, uh, you know, that was very, very entertaining. You know, this this whole episode felt very Silence of the Lambs-ish, where they had an active murderer, they're trying to look for him, they were looking in the wrong places, and then the big confrontation ends up in a big, dark basement where they just narrowly save the victim and they take the guy down. So, very entertaining episode. This was definitely, by far, my favorite episode of the season so far. You know, I just enjoyed the case they were working on, and I love how they also kept referring to the Bone Collector, showing us what he was up to or what he was doing, so that was pretty cool, too. Uh, other than that, great episode. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the next one. I'm very curious and a little nervous to see what happens to the poor Bone Collector's wife. Will she become an accomplice or a victim? We shall wait and see. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode review. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode as much as I did. What were your thoughts and your opinions on it? I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel for more episode reviews and more great content from this channel. And I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend if I don't see you. And, of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.